Hi, I'm Kenneth Smith. I'm the current president of SkillsUSA here at Florida Panhandle Technical College. I'm currently in the drafting program, but I've experienced a couple other programs here on campus. SkillsUSA is an organization that allows some of our more gifted students to compete against the other schools. You're getting ready to vote for some of the students who will be a representative for the upcoming year. We have four candidates and four available positions, so each of them is going to have a position. There's four available positions. We got a vice president, treasurer, secretary, and reporter. I'm going to talk about the voting process a little bit. We're going to do it a little different than the way we did it last year. Uh, we're going to do it one being the most competent and four being the least. So whoever gets the least amount of vo uh, points at the end of it, when we tally it all up, will get their first pick. And whoever gets the second most will get the second pick and then so on. The vice president is there to back me up when I can't make it, to be in charge of the committees and make sure they're ran smoothly, get back with me and make sure I have all the information I need so I can report it to Ms. Holly. The secretary's duty is when we're having our meetings and everything to take the minutes of the meeting and to read the minutes before the meeting, keep uh, the agenda up and make sure we have a good agenda for each meeting. The treasurer, their main job is money. So they're gonna, every time we do a fundraiser or anything else like that, they're gonna keep the money, get it put, uh, turned into the office, get a treasury report to give out at the meetings. And the reporter's there to cover everything, to write uh, articles and put it on a website and send out to the newspapers and make sure the public knows what's going on in skills and on our campus. Hey, I know you're busy, you got class, tests, everything else, studying, but I just wanna say thank you for taking the time to vote. Well, I ain't one for giving speeches and interviews and stuff, but I do like talking, so I'll just do that. Well, my name's Cody Humphreys, just graduated from Vernon last year, and I've been going to this school for about a year and a half now. I'm here at the drafting program because I want to be a mechanical drafter when I graduate, and I plan on doing drones for the military up in Carabelle. And I'm going to be running for your secretary. And I think I have the skills to carry out, carry out its duties. Well, I didn't have many leadership roles in high school, but I was doing my own thing. I was helping my uncle start up a family business down in Vernon. We have a deer processing shop. It was called Home Street Wild Game Processing. And I did a lot of desk and sec secretary work there. And I had to develop a tacit plan, which is hazard analysis, critical control points, which is basically just a document that states how you're going to keep your employees safe with its machinery and how you're going to keep food from being contaminated or cross-contaminating with other foods you have. And not only that, I've used my skills that I've used here at the drafting program to develop its floor plan and I sent it to the state and got it approved. And I also developed our order forms and our price list and I've handled the money sometimes so if, I've, if I'm needed to fulfill the duty of treasurer, someone else takes secretary, then I'm I'm qualified to do that as well. Hello, I'm Laurel Murley and I am in the drafting program here at Florida Panhandle Technical College and I am running for a officer position in your student council. I am hoping to get the reporter position because I have had a lot of experience in photography and in dealing with newspapers and publishing things. I have been in the yearbook over at my school whenever I was in high school and I worked with Photoshop and I also worked in designing the yearbook pages. I also was in JROTC and while in JROTC I was also a officer of the public affairs. So I would take pictures whenever we had any competitions or events and I would write up what was going on, who got what place, how well our teams did, and I would send that off to the newspapers. As a fellow student with you, I would like to advocate for your cares, your concerns. What do you want to have for lunch? We can ask the culinary students more often instead of just having, being told, oh, this is what we're going to have. Or maybe we can just go out and have polls. Okay, what are the pros to this? What are the cons to this? What are some ideas of what you might like to do? And 
I would rather, I would like to be uh, more involved. I am qualified for any position that you might want to put me in, not just reporter. Reporter is just the one that I would like to have if I had the choice. I am qualified because in JROTC, I did much more than just be the public affairs office. Or I was also the security and intelligence officer for a short amount of time, and in that position, I had to ensure that we had weather reports and that we had a route for where we were going to go whenever we had any events. And I had to maintain that we had all our equipment, like our computers and anything that was technology, and also our weapons, and that they were all accounted for and that they weren't amiss. You should vote for me because I have worked hard and it pays off. I am doing well in not just my school. I also have a paid internship at a company that is near impossible to get into unless you have connections. I don't have connections, I just worked very hard. Hi, I'm uh, Jordan Brown, and I'm in the drafting program here at the Florida Panhandle Technical College. Uh, Kenneth Smith, the president of Skills USA, came to me and he convinced me to run as uh, his vice president. I want to be part of the Skills USA Council because I'd like to be more involved with our school. I feel like I'd be a good vice president for our school because I have skills such as leadership and integrity. I enjoy being here at the Florida Panel Technical College. I mean the people here are friendly. It's, I mean it's not a struggle to be here. It's fun being here. I like being part of the school and helping out other people in the program I'm in. I went to high school in, here in Chipley and I graduated just recently and I've been here at the Technical College for about two months now and I'm hoping to graduate and become a mechanical drafter. I feel like you should vote for me because I feel as though I have the skills needed to carry out the duties of this position. I feel like I can uh, help the school excel in every way I possibly can. Skills USA is the students coming together and going to competitions. We have ambassadors from each class going to these competitions and competing for positions and taking places first, second, third. I understand the need for raising of funds because these competitions we go to, they're costly, and I'll help in any way I can to raise these funds and come up with ideas for fundraisers. I've gained skills through working at the funeral home, helping people cope with their emotions and the hard times that they're going through, and I feel like that would help me as a leader here on campus. I want to be part of the Skills USA Council because I'd like to be more involved with our school. Hello, my name is Tori Brown. I'm a student here at Florida Panhandle Technical College in my program at the Pharmacy Technician Program. The reason why I'm doing the Pharmacy Technician Program is because my family is in the medical field and being a pharmacist is something I dreamed of doing. And I got families all over the, all over the globe just doing some sort of medical field and I feel like pharmacy technician is the best fit for me. Well, I have leadership experience. I was the ninth grade president at the Jackson Academy in Mariana, Florida. I was the captain of the robotics team at the Malone High School. And after I graduated, I listened to the military for two months until I fortunately I got hurt. But given that, that brief time, I learned the valuable experience the knowledge and how to be a leader. I feel like that I could be the vice president because I can, you know, I'm pretty much quick on the fly. I can pick up when you left off and I can come up with new and fresh ideas that, you know, since we're the first of the Florida Pan Technical College, you know, we can set the foundation. We can learn, we can have a fresh start. We can, you know, I can't speak for my my, uh, my uh, candidates, but I can speak for myself that I do have leadership qualities. I've been there. I, you know, I'm very creative. I'm very, you know, that knowledge I learned from my father and my military background. You know, I have that military leadership experience as far as, le as, far as leadership is concerned. I feel like fundraising is a big community event. I mean, the more people involved, the more money that we raise. And, you know, just get the big community involved. And once we get the community involved and let the students involved and, you know, everybody donating to the Skills USA competition, that we can go places. 
My name is Tori Brown, and I'm running for vice president here at the Student Council. If you vote for me, I will give you all of my time. I will give you the best experience here at the Florida Panhandle Technical College. Thank <laughs> you.